Hi everyone, it's Donna with the North Greenbush Library, and I'm going to show you today how to make this magical wand in honor of Harry Potter's birthday coming up on Friday. Today we're going to be making magic wands. For this craft you'll just need some hot glue, and I'm using a chopstick, but you could also use an actual stick or a hair stick. Um, anything that's long and pointy, maybe even a pencil would work fine. Those are really the two main supplies you'll need. If you want to uh, embellish it a little bit, you'll also need some paint and possibly some beads or sequins or other decorations. Now, since the end of the chopstick is flat, I'm just gonna use a pencil sharpener to sharpen the end of it a little bit to make it a little bit more pointy like a wand might actually be. Now we've got the end of the chopstick nice and pointy like the front of our wand would be. Now we're going to make the handle of our wand with the hot glue. You just wanna be careful that you're not burning yourself. Just use a little patience. And we're gonna make the handle on the back end of our wand. Now to figure out how long you want your handle to be, you wanna hold your wand, figure out about where your hand grip will be, and figure that's about where your glue will need to run on your wand. Now to make the handle, we are just going to take our hot glue and coat our handle. Now we're gonna go over it a whole bunch of times um, to get it good and thick for our handle. Again, just make sure you're being patient and taking your time. And you're probably going to use a whole bunch of hot glue for this process. Now, once you come around to the first layer, you'll want to give it a break. Make sure you're good and dry before you go on to the next. So my first layer is dry. I'm going to go ahead and add an extra layer so that my grip is good and thick on my wand. And again, we're going to go all the way around with this. Now, if you want to add some extra texture to your wand, you can simply use the tip of your glue gun to kind of smear your glue before it dries. It's like this, and you'll give yourself a little bit of extra texture in your glue, kind of make it look more like a wooden handle. Now, for my wand, I want to try to make it look like there's a vine going around my handle. So I'm going to try to just run a spiral of glue around my handle. I'm just going to turn my wand as I keep squeezing glue out. And then at the end, I also have a bead that I thought would look kind of cool on the end of my wand. So I'm just going to add in whole bunch of extra glue on the end of my wand and then I'm going to connect my bead. Okay so you can see my glue is all dry. I've got my extra spiral of glue up my handle. I've got my bead at the end. You can paint right now. You don't have to add on any extra embellishments. But if you do have any extra beads or sequins that you want to add in, go ahead and add them in now, and then we'll paint our wand to give it our final look. Now, I've got my embellishments on my handle. Everything is looking the way I want it to look. And the next step is to give our wand its final look. I am going to paint mine with an acrylic paint. I'm using a dark brown for my first coat of paint, and we're gonna paint all the way from the bottom of the handle all the way up to the very tip. Um, you can use any color. I am gonna use a dark brown on mine to try to make it look sort of like it's made from wood. Okay. 
and you may end up needing a couple of coats of paint, that is totally fine too. Okay, here you can see I've got my entire glue handle all coated with my first coat of paint. Also painted all the way up to the tip of my wand with one coat of paint. I'm gonna let it dry thoroughly before I move on to my next layer of paint um, to give it the look that I want. Okay, so you can see all of the brown paint is dry on my wand. For mine, I am just going to add a tiny hint of blue to my handle to try to pick up on the blue coloring in my beads. And then I'm going to paint my vine portion in a gold color to make it a little bit more fancy and magical. Final step to making your wand is to add a clear coat or a layer of Mod Podge to make your wand glossy. And then your wand is done. Remember, if you make a wand, let us know how it turns out.